Hey, I'm Cornelis. Welcome to Your Band is a Business. Today I'm going to show you how I make my lyric videos with an animated visualizer that goes along with the music. So to do this, I use two platforms. One is canva.com, that's C-A-N-V-A dot com. And the other is spectre.com, which is S-P-E-C-T-E-R-R dot com. And I will leave links to both of these platforms below. So the first thing I do is I create a background image and I use the artwork of the song to do this, but you can use any artwork, obviously. Uh, as you can see here uh, in canva.com, there is a YouTube thumbnail. If, if that doesn't appear there, you can just search here at the top YouTube uh, thumbnail and the template should appear, as you can see. If you don't have that option, uh, then just create an image which is 1280 by 720. And what I do then is I upload some artwork. Uh, so if I just go here on the left, I should have an example. And what I do is I, no, I don't want all four, I just want one. That's strange. Here's one I made earlier. Basically, I, I upload some artwork with the name of the song and then I edit it so that I um, desaturate it. So I go to adjust, so I click on it, then edit, then adjust, and I scroll down here and I desaturate it. So normally the artwork looks like this, but then I take it down to around 60. And basically, I still want a little bit of the color to be shown, but it's not this is not going to be distracting because I'm going to have the lyrics over the top. So uh, I, yeah, I take the desaturation down, I, I desaturate it down to minus 60. Then I share and download, and usually I download it as a JPEG because it's a smaller file. Anyway, so that's what I do for the, the background image, and then I head over to Spectre. Um, these are my previous lyric videos, but I'll just show you how, how you go about it right. So you click a uh, new video here on the left, then you choose one of these templates. There, there are quite a few here. I'll just, I'll just pick this one here. And uh, then you have to basically load your assets. So first we can upload some audio like that, upload audio. And a backdrop. And well, I, you can upload your own there. Uh, let's see if it's here. I don't think I've got it. Uh, let's see. Okay, like that. So I've uploaded the artwork, uploaded the song, and you can then edit all these ed elements. So for example, the text here, we've got the artist name and the track name, so artist name and track name, and I'll just change it like that. And I can change the color if I want, or the font. I can change where it's positioned, all that kind of stuff. And then the second one here is track name, so a song I wrote, right? Doesn't really matter now. Uh, and I can add more text elements if I want to. I can just add another one there, new text, see? Um, and the, the visualizer is what's, let me just, I'll turn off the sound here. But uh, when I hit play, the song will play. And as you can see, that's the visualizer, right? So I can change the color. I can change the color of the outline. I can change the outline width there. Different shapes, so a circular, flat, a solid bar, points. There's just all kinds of things that you can mess around with, as you can see, just loads of options. And anyway, so let me pause that. And then the final thing 
that I do is I add the lyrics. So make sure that you've loaded the uploaded the song because otherwise you can't add the lyrics. But basically, on the left here is the timeline of the song. So you can see there that red arrow is, is going up and down. It's showing where in the song you are. And then you hover here and you hit add lyrics and then you just start typing. These are some lyrics. And these lyric, lyrics, um, they will appear for as, as big as that box is basically. So if I want th these sets of lyrics to appear for longer on screen to match what's being sung, then I just expand it like that, right? And, and then if I want another one, then I do that. Blah, 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 it doesn't really matter. And because this box is shorter, as you can see here with the, the little time in uh, the, the bar on the left that shows the time of the song, and it, it matches what happens here. So see that? It's the same thing. You can, you can move either one up and down. So these lyrics will appear for longer. So watch here at the top. Let me just make them uh, bright and yellow so that you can actually see them. There you go. So yeah, obviously you can change the fonts and the colors and all that kind of stuff. So those lyrics appear for quite long and then they disappear and then this one for only a short time. And then the next one, again, you can make it go for longer. So yeah, you just you just add those lyrics and then match them up to uh, what's being sung. Now, just something to be aware of. Sadly, you can't you can't lock these cards in place. That would be great if anybody's watching from Spectre. That would be a great feature just to lock them in place because what happens sometimes is that if you're moving them around, as you can see, it will um, it will move everything else, which is you know sometimes. You do that by accident and, and then everything else goes out of sync. So just be careful of that. The way that I like to do is that I like to keep a little bit of space between everything uh, so that in case I do accidentally make an adjustment, then it's not immediately going to throw everything else off because as you can see, look, if I move this up here, it starts shifting everything up and that can cause everything to go out of sync. So. Yeah, just, just be careful of that. And so the way that I do is I, I leave little gaps between everything just to make sure, uh, just in case that happens. Something else to be aware of is that I found that on some browsers that towards the end of a song, the lyrics tend to go out of sync. So they'll, they will appear too late. Um, well, to be honest, it, it seems to have been fixed now, but if you do encounter that problem, then I would uh, just try uh, try using this in another browser because I found that uh, Chrome, it seems to work a bit better. Uh, although, uh, to be honest here, using Safari, I haven't encountered the issue recently, but there was a time where towards the end of the song, the lyrics would appear too late. So what I had to do is I had to adjust them here on the, uh, I had to adjust these boxes and just make them appear a bit earlier than I thought they should compared to the music and then when I exported it I found that it uh, appeared in time. Like I said, it's, uh, to be honest, it's been a while since I've noticed that issue but uh, when I did I just used uh, Chrome and uh, it seemed to, to work better. Anyway, let me just go back to uh, the ones I've created before so uh, you can uh, duplicate well, you can download them straight away here, um, or you can clone what you've done before, uh, that, which I do because I'm often, I, I have a similar style for all of them. I just change the colors, but uh, let me just show you the way that I've done it. So if I just forward a bit here, you can see here the the visualizer and the lyrics. And the way that I like to do it is I like to pick a color from the artwork and use that for the lyrics and the visualizer. So uh, as I said, the background is desatur desat or, yeah, desaturated so that uh, it's not popping out and it's not uh, interfering with the lyrics. So the lyrics are, 
are clearly legible uh, compared to the background but I, I do like to tie the, the color of the visualizer and of the lyrics with uh, with what's going on in the background so that's the way I do it now once you're happy with your lyric video you can make sure you save it save it as you go along just in case something happens and then hit export video and then you can choose to uh, export it in different uh, styles so there's the the free unlimited which means that you have the specter uh, logo in the bottom right there is 1080 at 60 frames per second for which um, uh, it costs you like some credits and I'll talk about pricing in a moment uh, and then this 4k but who like 4k is not necessary for a simple lyric video like that but yeah uh, that's the way it is then you start hit the export and it will create it and you can download it and yeah the only thing um, that you need to uh, keep an eye out on is uh, it can you know it can take a little while sometimes for the the video to render as it were before um, before you download but it's going well it's going quite quickly now actually it used to be quite a bit slower but let's see how quickly yeah as you can see it takes a while I'll cut forward okay so it took a couple of minutes but the video has finished rendering and then you can watch it just to see if it's the way that you wanted it to be and check for any mistakes if you're happy with everything you can either upload it directly to YouTube from this platform or download it first so that is how I create my lyric videos a final word about the pricing so there is a free tier uh, which allows you to create one video per day it's limited to 720p and 30 frames per second which is is fine really uh, I'm gonna see if there's any big difference between that and the 60 frames per second up to five minutes which is again fine because most songs are not longer than five minutes the the one thing that uh, I don't like is the watermark so that is why I pay for the pro version now uh, you can make an adjustment here so, so for example if uh, if you don't want to uh, if you don't feel the need for 1080p at 60 frames a second you can drop down to 720p 30 frames per second and then the price goes down to six pounds per month or 72 uh, per year and that's in dollars I think that's seven and a half dollars per month or uh, for yearly that's um, that works out at something like $90 uh, and then obviously there's also an unlimited version if you're I don't know if you're running an agency or something or you work for an agency then unlimited videos 4k videos up to 120 minutes long all that kind of stuff but for musicians that's not really necessary and you know what you could do you could wait until you have a bunch of lyric videos that you need to make sign up for the monthly version and just uh, yeah create create say five videos and then you could cancel uh, you know until you've got five more videos so that's one way to do it anyway this is what I use to create my lyric videos I'm interested to hear how you do it do you use a platform or do you use some kind of video editing software uh, let me know in the comments